Those of you who are regular watchers of the channel have seen this uh, military surplus Colt slide, Colt barrel, Essex Arms uh, stainless steel frame 1911 that I have that I got from my grandfather. And one of my coworkers got a 3D printing machine, so we thought we'd mess around a little bit and see if we couldn't make some hand grips for this thing. It seems like a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward task for a 3D printer. So, uh, without further ado, let's give you the time lapse of 3D printing handguards. So, if you look to the left here, you can see we've got a stopwatch going, and that's in minutes to track the progress of the printing. So, that's kind of neat to see how long it takes. And then I find to make this time lapse the most enjoyable, I just imagine the uh, Benny Hole theme song playing in the background. That's uh, Yakety Sax for those of you who are connoisseurs but I'll pipe down. You can enjoy the rest in silence. So we learned a couple things. We made the grips and they'd need a little fine tuning because of the way they were printed was straight up and down so there was a little bit of flex as they were printing so the tolerances were a little off and then the other thing I learned when I took this uh, Packmeyer grip off was that there's no kind of checkering or anything like that on the front of the on the front of the hand grip so rather than pursue the classic slab side grips I'm gonna leave this thing just the way I got it it was a fun experiment and we have a different 1911 or some other kind of hand grip that we want to print we could possibly do it Although the texture on this, this is a, one of the inexpensive models, so it looks almost cloth-like because you can see the individual layers. Anyway, I thought you'd enjoy checking that out, and we'll see you again soon. So if you found yourself distracted by me running my mouth during the time lapse, I'll include it at the end of the video one more time without any audio.